What's going on guys? It's Brendan from Modern to Me, and today we're just going to cover two more methods real quick from the ArrayList class in Java. This should be a shorter tutorial, hopefully, so we can get through this one pretty quick and onto something even better. So the first method I want to teach you about, well actually both meth methods I have to teach you about have to deal deal with the indexes of elements in the ArrayList. That makes no sense, right? Well, by the end of this tutorial, that's going to make sense. So I kept this string class. Uh, the string ArrayList, excuse me, and we're just going to fill it with a couple of strings. But let's let's create these string instances real quick. So let's just create like dog, good dog, nothing fancy. How about person? Sounds good. And then why not potatoes? And perfect. Okay. So we have three strings. All just different, uh, their variable names are the exact same as their actual values. And nothing tricky there. Let's add these to our array list, shall we? So we know how to do that. We learned that last tutorial. You go strings, the name of your array list, dot, and then add. So we can add in dog, and let's copy, oops, let's copy this statement right here and paste and paste. Probably would have been faster just to type with the struggle I went through there. All right, person and potatoes. So now we have these three strings in here. Our array list contains an element of dog, an element of person, and an element of potatoes. This is a really basic example here. Uh, this is what I'm about to show you, but uh, let me let me create an integer named index. So let's say we have, we have, our, uh, we have our string variable person, right? And so we're pretty sure that there is a person, an instance of person in this array list. We know it's somewhere, but we want to get the index of it. Well, thankfully, there's a method that lets us do that. If you just type right here, index of, that's exactly what the method is called. It's pretty intuitive. And then if you type the name of the, uh, the instance of the class that you're trying to see if it exists, let's go ahead and type person. And what it'll do is if there's an instance of person in this uh, strings class, it will actually return the first index of of said uh, of said variable. So let me just print out the index real quick so you guys see what I'm talking about. Uh, oops, you gotta go system dot out dot print ln, and if I just print out index, we should see that we got one. So it's telling us that all right, we're trying to find an index of of uh, the in, of the string instance person, and it sees that we have in it, we have an instance of it, and it's at the index of one. So if we were to have two instances of the person, the person, uh, uh, the <laughs> two instances of person in our array list, we would see if we run this again, we still only get one. We still get one as the main uh, as the only return value, I should say. Now there's another method in ArrayList that I just want to go over real quick, and if we just if you go strings dot last index of, so now if we ran this method, hopefully no, we would get three. So it knows that there's more than one index of person, but it goes from the back. It, it uh, gives you the index of the last present instance of this uh, of this variable, this class. So it's going to return the index of three rather than one. All right, uh, one more method I want to. Oops, whoa! One more method I want to go over with you guys real quick. Now, um, maybe a couple, just just real quick. They're real simple ones. So another uh, couple things you can do is you can you can test to see if your if your string array or your array list uh, is empty. If you just type the name of your array list and then just dot uh, is is empty. And if we run this, we see we get false. It's not empty, obviously. And um, this goes in hand in hand with the, uh, the other method, the last method I wanted to show you. You can clear all the elements in your array pretty easily in your array list. So if you just go strings.clear, the nice thing is all these method names are so intuitive. It's like impossible to forget the names of all of these methods. So if you do cl uh, clear, this will clear your array list out completely of all of these uh, uh, current instances in the array list. So it should wipe out all of the index indices and it will be an empty array list. So then if we then if we did 
systems.out.println. Now if we tested if this was empty, we should see uh, true. And we see true. So I'll, once we cleared it out of all of its elements, this will return as true because the array list is completely empty. So there's actually like tons and tons and tons and tons of methods in the ArrayList class. These are my favorites. I feel like these are the most useful and important. But if you ever feel like you need a functionality that I didn't talk about in this tutorial, always just go on the, uh, the docs on oracle.com, the Java docs, and they have tons and tons of resources of all of their classes. So yeah, there's tons of methods. I hope you learned a few of them that you find useful. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.